I'll tell you something you will never be without. See, that's one of God's laws in the Bible. Everything reproduces after its own kind and after its own self. You know, corn don't produce potatoes. And potatoes don't produce peas. Everything, whatever you give in your life, if you give love, if you give finances, if you, if you give kindness, and I'm talking about sowing kindness, sowing love, sowing of your finances. And you know what? As far as sowing finances, you sow them where God wants you to sow them. And the Bible says give, not grudgingly, not because you have to, not because there's a necessity, but just give cheer for God loves a cheerful giver. And I'm not only talking about finances, and I don't want you to misunderstand me, but you know what in, includes finances. If you want finances, you get finances. If you need love today, you sow some love. If you need people to be kind to you, you sow some kindness. You sow some generosity today. You go out of your way to help people. Go out of your way to help people, and I guarantee you, praise God, when there comes a time that you need help in your life, somebody will be there to help you. Praise God. Amen. That's, that's the Word of God. Amen. That's what Jesus taught. That's some of the oh, precious things that Jesus taught. Open up your Bible and read what Jesus taught today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Put your trust in Him. Put your trust in His Word. The Bible says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one jot, not one tittle of God's Word will ever pass away. That means not one crossing of the T, not one dotting of the I shall ever pass away. The Word is the most powerful thing in the world. God. And you know what? You can't separate God's Word and His love. God is love. God is love. And the Bible says that love never fails. Never fails. Not in a million years will love ever fail. And you know what? Situations has come up before me in the past. And I have an opportunity every day to sow love. And you know what? We ought to make it a priority. A priority to sow love. Because the Bible says love never fails. How can you fail? Because when you love, I man, it's just like, you know, you can't separate God and His love. God and His Word. Because God is love. And the Word is love. See, without love, your faith won't work. Because the Bible says, faith worketh by love. King James Version. Your faith works by love. Love is God. Hallelujah. If I could tell you anything to stay, if I could tell you a word from God today, I'd say love. Walk in love. And the peace of God will surround your heart. And it will keep your heart and mind. If you'll choose to love, the enemy can't do nothing with you if you'll choose to love. Walk in love. And I know we have plenty of opportunities to get aggravated. Plenty of opportunities to walk in bitterness and grudging. And, but you know what? If you'll choose, say, I choose to love. Even, even the ones that are unlovable, even people that's done things to you and said things to you, done bad things to you. If you say, Lord... Help me to find it in my heart to love. You know what? You might not be able to love them with your own self. But you know what? You can love them in Him. Say, Jesus, I choose to love that person in you. I choose to sow love. Your love. And you know what? It'll develop inside you. That love will develop inside you when you choose to walk in love. To them that's offended you. To them that's caused you pain suffering you know some people go for years and years and they hold grudges and unforgiveness in their heart 
if you'll choose to love, praise God, I'll tell you something, you'll see victory in your life if you will choose the love walk. You'll see victory, and you'll have victory, in your, and you'll have peace. That thing won't be eating at you like a cancer. Because you know what the, the Bible talks about? The tormentors. The tormentors will come when you hold grudges and unforgiveness in your heart. And it'll be torment. Day and night, you'll always have that. And you say, well, I forgive them until their name's brought up again. And, and when their name's brought up again, see how you feel. See if you don't feel that grudge rising up in you. Just say, Lord, I forgive them and you. And every time you think about that person, say, Lord, I pray for them. I pray for them and I pray for myself. 